Welcome back to the Now Your Friends podcast. I am your host, Dennis Campbell. I'm a man without a shitbox. Uh, I'm a man without a co-host. What? I, <laughs> I, I thought I, I was I, technically I, the co-host today. Oh, yeah, that's right. Logan, you're co-hosting with me. That's right. I'm Tyler Swain. Um, man, I'm so fat. And yeah, you don't, have, <laughs> you don't have a co-host. He's going to love listening back to this one. Yeah, He's going to edit it, isn't he? Uh, I don't know. Is he? I I, okay. I Probably. Admit, I don't it's know his who, job. I don't know who it? does this shit. I'm the co-host. There's two no, of you. Yeah, if it's not it's you, not me. It's probably him. <laughs> okay. All right. Well, anyway, Tyler's in Norway, so we have Logan O'Brien on the show. Brian Shino, welcome to the show. Hey. Thanks. Uh, Thanks for having me. How you guys doing? <laughs> Super. Very pumped to be here. <laughs> it feels like a real breakthrough in my <laughs> podcast career. You know. Yeah. 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 Yeah, that. is this your first podcast, Brian? Second, second podcast. And so far, first? it's uh, yeah. Social, Social Boys. Boys. Yep, yep. But minus Dan and Tyler, Brian and Germano sat. Yeah, I was Dan that time. That's oh, okay, true. Okay. Yep. So very recently, you were just on your first podcast. Yeah. When yeah. was that? It was, a few, it was like some October, ago. Yeah, November. Okay, so never I don't know. Not very recently. You were on your first <laughs> podcast. Got it. Shino, you know, have you been on a podcast before? I have not. This is a. Uh, Pop in my podcast, Cherry. Hell nice. yeah. Yeah. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. <laughs> well, let's pop the cherry away. Uh, you guys listen to the show? I, I do. Um, I listen to it, actually. Nice, nice. Can, Brian? Would you, you Can you get just like a little, a little closer, closer to the mic? Yeah, sorry. It doesn't have a, a large pickup zone. <laughs> feels uncomfortable being like right next to it. but Yeah, I bet. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> well, of course, you guys know that this is the podcast where we find two people who have not met, introduce them in hopes that they become friends. That's right. Uh, you guys willing to become friends? You guys? Oh, yeah. All right. We're oh, is that, is that one of the criteria? <laughs> yeah, that's I'm, it. I'm actually that's not easy. willing at all. Yeah. <laughs> I came oh, here okay. for one reason. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Logan, do you want to tell Logan and Brian, do you guys want to talk about how you guys met? Uh, sure. Okay, go. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, well, I was friends with Brian's older brother originally. In Robin this, the Cradle. That's right, since like third grade. Uh, but then uh, I became friends with Brian's friend, Jamal. We all worked at Pizza Regina together. And then me and Jamal started going to the same college. And Brian's college was close by. So we all hung out a lot there in college. And then Billy went into the Navy. Oh. So he got replaced. That's right. Yep. And I haven't by met a, this guy, by a so mini obviously version. you became better friends with Brian than you did his older brother. Yeah. Do you think he listens to the show? <laughs> no. Okay. I don't I don't think so. <laughs> I doubt he's listened to an episode of the South Shore Boys, to be honest. And that's been happening for years. Has it been years? Wow. Yeah, I mean, in different iterations, oh. but yeah, since like 2017 or something. Holy crap, that's a long time. <laughs> you guys still do every weekend? Yeah. Wow. That's impressive. Yeah, this week also on the Social Force podcast, th- there will be two replacements because Tyler will be in Norway and I don't know where Dane will be, but not on the podcast. Where is my phone call, bro? I was just going to ask, all right, uh, where was my invite? <laughs> I invited you on my show. and uh, Well, I got a kid that's never been on the podcast before. And then, is uh, that supposed to be comforting? Is it Shino? <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I got two podcasts booked. <laughs> I was like, I got a real good feeling about this Now Your Friends podcast. <laughs> Chino, do you remember how we met? I do actually remember how we met. I don't remember how we met. <laughs> we So we met at Kyle's house. Oh, was it Kyle's, Kyle's house? Basement. Yeah, I okay. remember the first thing you said to me, actually. What was it? You were like, hi, I'm Dennis, and I have a nine-inch penis. No. <laughs> 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 to which I replied, hi, I'm Sean, and I definitely don't have a nine-inch penis. <laughs> <laughs> nice to meet you. Spoiler, I actually don't have a nine-inch penis. <laughs> it's, it's ten. ten yeah. ah, what's, <laughs> what's funny about Easy that? Setup. <laughs> what's funny about that, too, is like when I met you, like you and Kyle were like arguing over a girl. Oh, was I in the closet? Yeah. Ah, <laughs> nice. But it was like I knew immediately. <laughs> you and this guy upon were meeting you. <laughs> you and this guy were in a closet arguing about a girl. <laughs> <laughs> now you misheard him, man. 
<laughs> Wait, Dennis, you're gay? Yeah, man. You didn't know. Oh, I can't be on this podcast. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> all right, all right. Back it up. Brian, you want to be my co host? <laughs> yes, yes. Promotion. Right. Hell yes. Wow. Replaced. Um, do you remember saying. the girl who the girl was? I don't think I knew who she was at all. Okay. It was like just some random girl. I was probably just being. They're all dime a dozen back then, am I right, boys? <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, I remember you broke Kyle's laptop fighting over the laptop, like because you were like trying to talk to her. So I must have been really annoying that night. Oh. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> it sounds like I was being yeah, very we, annoying. We went all the way to Walmart, and like Kyle was like, "Oh, you have to help me like repair the laptop." <laughs> I don't think I ever did. I don't like, think oh, I ever I'll did. Help it's okay. For it. I was remember thinking like, "Oh, I'd not help." I you. housed that guy for a while too. So yeah, you did. So I think so. I paid his. I think I paid that debt off. <laughs> I was like, "Come yeah, on, man, let me see this." Check you're talking to is Dennis. Like, no, she's like really hot though. <laughs> <laughs> she goes to a different school. <laughs> she's definitely a girl. <laughs> Marcus. <laughs> Her name's Marcus. <laughs> she's black. <laughs> what? Why? why? <laughs> Marcus is a black name. Is that why? Yeah, I feel like a, a girl, a black girl, could be named Marcus. You say Marcus? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Marquise. Okay. All right. We're... I know a black guy named Marcus. I know a black guy named. I know two black guys named Marcus. Okay. So you knew what I was going for. Well, yeah, a little that's. Bit. I didn't. That's what. Well, like I know. That's what. But the Mark Marquess Marquise. What Marquise, would you say? That yeah. was Let's move on. Yeah, let's <laughs> let's keep it going. Uh, should we? Uh, we don't have shitbox questions from. Oh, we have shitbox questions. We don't have questions from our. Last week's guest. So should we just hop right into the shitbox questions? I really wish the hey, shitbox was actually. Dude, I know. I <laughs> fucked up. I didn't bring it. I'm a man without a shitbox, a co-host. We're so, not even in the we're not even in the Now Your Friend studio right now. We're in Logan's apartment. We're so in the, just to be clear, he kept the actual box that he shouldn't? No, no. He oh, we okay. found a replica. <laughs> okay. And right. we pull questions from that every week. I was a little concerned about that. Um, <laughs> I'm relieved now. No, that thing's like probably fucking nuclear waste in a dump right now uh, probably in the middle of the atlantic nuclear waste while it was being a dump <laughs> 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 yeah i mean you're putting a lot of faith in that shoe box in that moment yeah, I'm, like, true. I'm pretty sure like the stomach ass well i mean he had to have pissed right in the shoe box yeah. too right i mean you can't that's a good point without taking a piss Wait, okay <laughs> he, 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 i never he even thought of that wow in, the, in a jug no, but the, yeah, oh, so but he, he's a piss jug. <laughs> so he had okay. So he got the, but the this jug isn't set a, up and the, the box underneath. Jesus, man, yeah, yeah. Okay. this isn't. No, no, no. There were two separate actions. But this is an argument we've had on the Sausage Voice podcast before. The Tyler maintains he can poop without peeing, and we all say that's crazy, impossible, that's insane. Impossible. Hmm. Yeah, that's can't two, insane can't two can't two without ones. And, no, yeah, I don't, I don't know not. how you do that. I mean, maybe if he peed very recently before, but I, don't I know. still don't believe. It. Even, at least a little bit's coming out. Yeah, I don't know. And I can't two without three. <laughs> is that is that like a, is that like a gay thing? <laughs> I, I thought universally it was just coming. <laughs> oh, oh. <laughs> but, but maybe I'm wrong. I'm yeah, like, that does sound gay. Oh, shit, yeah. oh wait, coming no, I, sounds gay from shitting. <laughs> <laughs> I did say that. <laughs> no, that's why I thought I thought What's you knew it was coming. Question? I thought you were saying it's a gay thing that he can't shit without coming. <laughs> no, I didn't know what it was. Oh, okay. I'm I'm either two Are steps ahead or behind, aren't I? <laughs> <laughs> I think you're right where you need Chocolate. to be. <laughs> uh, do you want to ask a shit boss question? Candles. Sure. Um, hmm. Some of them are stupid. Um, <laughs> or, a stupid one. Only only four of them are actual questions. Uh, That's why I don't submit any questions. <laughs> <laughs> well, th- to be fair, on my I made my Instagram story for the questions. I'm sitting in for Tyler Swain because he's in Norway for some inexplicable reason and posted a screenshot of the age of consent in Norway, which is 16 years old. So it's going well. Yeah, so somebody, <laughs> <laughs> so somebody said praying for the girlies of Norway. Uh, and somebody, Connor Boyce said, get me on the show. Oh, I do. I love Connor Boyce. Oh, dude. Well, he's on the show now. Connor Boyce. <laughs> <laughs> Can't wait to have you. Ask more questions. All right. Hey, Connor. Uh, the, if you could pick, <laughs> okay, this, I guess this is a fun one. If you could pick one person in the room to kill, who would it be Logan. and why? <laughs> yeah, we'd all pick Logan, right? Yeah, it has to yeah. be Logan. I called him a fag earlier. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, we all called wow. him a fag earlier. So. Oh, so you guys are all perpetrating a hate crime. Oh, so, <laughs> oh, so, so what you're saying is you're coming hate out of the closet? <laughs> <laughs> why did you think that would be a fun one? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> well, my answer is... Uh, 
all three of you. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I didn't know that was an option. <laughs> you only got one bullet in your gun, Logan. Who are you picking? Who are you taking out with you? You could like line no, us no. up. No, no. I, I lock you all in a room and I throw one knife in between the three of you. Just and I say only up. one can live. And then one of us picks it up, kills you, and we. I'm not in the, the room, room, dumbass. Well, how are you going to throw the knife in the room? I'm looking down on you. It's like a. Oh, for, like so a you're pit. in the ceiling. Oh, uh, okay. Ceiling. It's like a pit. Oh, it's a pit Lotion now. on the skin type it of thing. It wasn't a pit yeah, to yeah. begin with. Now you're just going to change it halfway through. And Sorry, I did. It's a room pit. Shut the fuck up, Logan. <laughs> <laughs> Who are you killing? <laughs> now it's you, Dennis. Yeah. Hell <laughs> oh, yeah. That's what I was hoping. And it is a hate crime. Yeah, it is actually a hate crime. Because <laughs> <laughs> I hate your mullet. <laughs> Yo, my mullet fucking rocks. It's first pretty. pod with the mullet, actually. I feel powerful with it. Oh, this is recent. Yeah, so this mullet, uh, I got it last week. Nice, nice. I'm feeling good. It's fucking sick. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you. So two of the three of you agree that the mullet rocks? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Fuck you, Logan. <laughs> <laughs> Starting to think you guys don't know how to define that word you called me earlier <laughs> that I refuse to say because I'm not like that. I actually, yeah, I really feel uh, bad piling on Logan. I really don't know you that well. You really, you really should. <laughs> That's all right. Uh, as someone who knows him, you, know, you should not. You're yeah, fine. as someone who knows him very well, don't feel bad. <laughs> yeah, people kind of naturally gravitate towards doing that <laughs> for some reason. Well, you Can't get what be you me. give. Anyways, <laughs> next question. <laughs> all right, all right, all right, all right. Um, so we all fucking absolute totaled Logan's ass on that last one. Oh, oh for sure. Why is it? Why does it always have to be gay with you? <laughs> we all fucked Logan in the ass simultaneously. Dude, I just threed so one. hard. <laughs> well, now I have to two. So, <laughs> so you can three. Yeah. <laughs> I'm getting a little lost here. <laughs> yeah, I, you, I have I other that. questions pulled up. Do you want? Or you, yeah, you want to ask another one because uh, it's taking me. Yeah, a what's something you're kind of snobby about? Oh shit! I'm not, oh. Hmm. <laughs> Come on. Kind of uh, there's a lot of shit I'm snobby about. I'm just trying to pick a good one to talk about. <laughs> <laughs> I I mean I'm definitely like snobby about like entertainment, but then I also like some of the worst shit. So. I I did that I pretty yeah, much I, don't, I I try not to be too snobby but like I don't know I don't got, there's nothing really I like care that much about that I'm like a snob about it you know like there's not like like for me example if like somebody says they like the band Greta Van Fleet I'm like okay yeah yeah the Van Greta Van whatever the fuck it's called sucks <laughs> <laughs> somebody accused me they were like uh, I had a coworker over and uh, they like saw like a piece of art I had on the wall and they're like is this like a Greta Van Fleet like poster. And I said, no, but now I'm taking it down, thanks. <laughs> <laughs> and I took it down. <laughs> yeah, so. That shit is tough. Yeah. Yeah, snobby. That's an interesting... The, honestly, it's one of those things... It's kind of a pet peeve of mine. Like, I feel like I try really hard not to be snobby about stuff. You're snobby about stuff. Really? Yeah, you can be snobby about, like, music or... Music? Really? I feel like music is one that I'm not, because I definitely like music that is objectively trash i've definitely played stuff that you've gone in on oh look we can't judge how i treat you look, you, oh, you get what right. you get no but you, you well, it's definitely like movies or like whatever you've watched and you're okay like, eh. you know what movies is probably a good one but even that i think i've loosened up on but i was definitely snobby about movies for quite some time one. but the reality is i don't know it's just it's all subjective right i do feel like snobbyish like snobbishness fades with age because you kind of like stop caring about f- life just beats you down too much to be <laughs> like yeah that sucks you're like everything sucks when we start picking things <laughs> well i mean it also it, like it might be an open-mindedness thing too you start to like some shit and you're like yeah you know what there's value in this even if there's you know it's not like critically acclaimed or whatever it's still good I in its own way or, i'm gonna be like completely yeah silent. <laughs> <laughs> uh yeah like in high school i was definitely way more like close-minded about music for sure like i would not be going to like see taylor swift and like drake this year oh dude i had the worst taste of music as like a teenager i was always like i my, my music taste switches so much what it, what oh, was yeah, it in high school sure. it was like the freaking uh like the pop punk kind of stuff okay like, well really some of us still like that <laughs> <laughs> some, of, some, no. of us have, some of us have dropped like a thousand dollars collectively i can still to make a friend but i've definitely made an enemy so. <laughs> <laughs> has that happened on this podcast two people are just like no i don't i don't like this person at all yeah it's happened yeah, yeah? oh cool 
So. Cool, cool. Wait, it rocks. really? It rocks. Yeah. <laughs> they just actually didn't like each other. You just don't listen. You don't listen to the fucking show. <laughs> <laughs> so, some episodes are a little tougher to get through than others. Okay. All right. <laughs> See, I think it's funny. Way I to put over the it. show you're on right now. You <laughs> no, fucking <Jesus>. dweeb. <laughs> <laughs> what I've listened to some episodes, but All they right. usually ended up friends. The ones I listen to. All right, cool. That, that's how it goes. Then that's how it goes. Um, pro wrestling is what I get snobbish about, which is really oh, fucking one, lame. Yeah. yeah. Don't which is funny. Because, well, <laughs> it's just funny. You get snobbish about because it's like completely dictated by the people that own the company. Uh yeah. The In a little bit of fanfare, I guess. Like pe- people might get their shot because it's like a fan favorite. But yeah, yeah. Yeah, but the stars are still the stars. They have their own thing that they're doing. You know. Yeah, but I mean, like, if you're if most you're doing a wrestling company right, you 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 know who the fans are going to cheer for next. I went to my yeah. first. A lot of wrestling just isn't done right, so yeah, fair enough. Fair enough. This is me getting snobby. <laughs> <laughs> it's actually just not done right. So I went to my first yeah. wrestling show last week, uh, Monday Night oh, Raw. Yeah, how'd that at the go? Garden. It was, oh, it was pretty great. John Cena was there, dude. Yeah, I and, was thinking about. And, I was and, watching uh, Monday Night Raw the other night. Yeah. I wasn't the one with the fucking yes, what's his name. About wrestling. Uh, Logan Paul. It was. Is it he was. like a wrestler now? Like, Dude, Logan Paul. I don't know. <laughs> by the WWE. Yeah. Yeah. No shit. He, he's yeah. an incredible. Dude. Co- he's incredible. He's fucking. No outrageous. way he's incredible. Like, I was, I, dude, I, I, was watching, I was like, you. what is going on? Here? I will show <laughs> you some Logan Paul wrestling matches in there. Out I of mean, he's like here. a natural athlete. Like they yeah. both. Oh, he's, a, he's like such an entertainer too. Like he was actually he's he was fucking great on Monday Night Raw too. I'm sure he's a heel, right? Like. Oh yeah. Yeah. I mean, he's like the golden boy, but the audience hates him. You know what I mean? Yeah, but that's like. The, that's the way he's gone in life. The Paul yeah, brothers yeah. are like detested. I mean, obviously a bunch of people like them, but I think equally as many people love to hate them. Yeah. Like yeah. I don't watch Jake Paul box that's to like, like win. I, I watch them lose because everyone hates them. Yeah. Like, <laughs> I do think but there's think, a younger crowd who's like obsessed with them though. Yeah, for sure. That's how they got like big right, from right. Vine and then YouTube. And I think Jake Paul was on like a Disney Channel show at one point. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I think we've given enough time to the the Paul brothers. On this podcast. <laughs> I thought you liked them. Yeah. Well, one of them has a wrestling. really <laughs> cool name. Is all I'll say. What's that? One of them has a really cool name. Which one? Oh, Logan. Ah, uh, <laughs> sorry. Uh, <laughs> I was like, what? I'm trying to. <laughs> yeah, sorry. Yeah, I wasn't gonna feed into that. Uh, <laughs> oh, we have a a celebrity. Uh, we have a celebrity guest. Asking questions. Oh, no way. Did Tyler yeah. ask a question? No. Uh, Logan Paul has a question. We have Jared from Space Casino sending us oh. some questions. Uh, the fuck fuck fucking. <laughs> <laughs> the celebrity. It's our celebrity, uh, our celebrity fan. Um, that's uh, the lead vocalist in Wetzel's band. I think he uh, plays. Dude, shout out bass to Wetzel. Or guitar. He plays guitar. Wetzel guitar. plays bass. Yeah, that's dude, right. Wetzel, Wetzel plays bass. I knew that. He does play saxophone that's, very well, too. Oh, best. shit. That's <laughs> dope. I didn't know that. He should bust it out of his face. He's, you know, show, dude, they should cover like a Springsteen song and just dude, have him rip yeah. that. I would love saxophone that. Saxophone live? Suggest that. Forget Are you it. listening? Are you guys listening? Play that. Play <laughs> some <laughs> Bruce. Um, who is in your f- uh, dream smoke circle? Hmm. <laughs> yeah, Brian. <laughs> Brian, you smoke hey. weed. Brian's like my mom, a paramedic, my best friend. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, we could just be all paramedics. That would be swell. <laughs> you don't do well on, uh, with marijuana? Not these days. I used to smoke every day when I was like in college, and then I stopped to save some money and just haven't like tried to go back into it, but it's just like instant panic attack for me now. Oh, okay. But, you know. So you don't want to hit the weed I have right here? I don't. Okay. No. <laughs> Thank you. You're Thank welcome. you. Probably Dream not. smoke circle, though. I can still, I can still vibe with that. I would have to say, like, a dead scientist, like Tesla or Einstein or some shit like that. Ooh. That'd be sick. Wow, that's crazy. <laughs> <laughs> My answer is going to be such shit compared to that. <laughs> Dude, I still don't even have an answer. <laughs> oh, I knew I was going to be bad at this shit. <laughs> <laughs> well, oh, the, well, how many are we doing? Like, three people? I think three. three yeah. might be good. You got two more? <laughs> <laughs> I'm going uh, last, so I have a second to think about this. <laughs> We could also do some podcast editing later. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> wanna, we'll come right to loop Brian's back, number we'll loop two. Back this one. <laughs> Why don't we just do one I at have... a time? That's easier. All right, fine. Um, I would probably say John Lennon. Ooh, good answer. Yeah. He seems like a cool guy. 
Aside from the spousal abuse. Yeah. <laughs> the, the different times. Violence, yeah. Different times. I'm not his wife. What do I fucking care? <laughs> <laughs> She's not in the smoke circle. <laughs> Yoko Actually, is definitely I'm gonna, not. I'm going to bring her in just for entertainment. <laughs> but if you invite John, you know Yoko's going. There's uh, no way she's not going to the corner. She's alive. She's alive. She can't come. What does that mean? They're all dead? Yeah, no one said they had John's to be dead. John's de- Oh, I don't know why I thought they had to be dead. <laughs> Can I change dead. my answer? <laughs> I don't know. I think of dead because, like, I don't know. Smoke circle. What are you talking about dead? Why, I don't where do you get know. The dead thing I, in my head, it was like they're dead because anyone else is a possibility. Yeah, you I mean, know? if you're just conjuring a random person, you have anyone in the world, might as well choose a dead person. All right, fine. I changed number, my first one to Bill Murray. Hmm. Okay. Isn't he uh, kind of in a, like, So he did some spousal abuse. Who cares? Is that what it is? Is that what it is? <laughs> I don't know. I, I heard he was under some scrutiny. I didn't know what about. I think he like. I think he placed a, a, a short person in a trash barrel and put the lid on. No, well that that's was, fucked that up. That was Scott Green in like the '90s or something. Is that, wait, is that actually a thing? Someone happened because I joked about. That. <laughs> oh, Scott Green said ago. he did that. Yeah, oh, that's oh. fucking awesome. But I think I mean, he's that's just kind of. Cool. <laughs> I think he's just kind of like a funny bully, and some people don't like it, and that's. Do you relate their to that problem? Logan? Yeah, <laughs> actually. <laughs> <laughs> I thought he, I, I mean, doesn't he kind of have a reputation for being difficult too, though? You know, the Groundhog Day, wasn't he sp- supposedly like the worst to work with on that? Yeah, but I think there was like something deeper going on there. He's with going him. through a divorce or some shit, right? <laughs> oh, maybe. But I think like him and Harold Ramis are like longtime friends and yeah, collaborators. Yeah. So I think they were starting to like irritate each other a little bit. Harold yeah. Ramis directed oh, it. Oh, that shit comes up. Yeah, Fair yeah. enough. You want to? Oh yeah, sorry. I just put them in case somebody wants one. Yeah, this is way better. Uh, Sheena, who's in your smoke circle? Dude, Wait, did you do you finish Logan? Bill Murray. Oh, Bill Murray. John I thought we were doing one, 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 one. Oh, okay. it's you can do it's one, 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 That's funny. That's fun. Dude, I don't know. Fuck. Um. I'll get that. Oh, sorry. <laughs> uh, probably uh, Jordan Peele. Jordan Peele. Oh, nice. Good, Peele. Good, yeah. good choice. Good choice. Damn, dude. Mine's going to be racist, too. <laughs> <laughs> what do you mean racist, too? What do you no, mean? I'm just kidding. I just don't know if a black guy was going to be, like, in there. But now I have oh, to think about you, it. Oh. I, f- I feel like that was a great answer, and you're you're detracting from it. <laughs> Sorry. No, I'm trying to well, just No, <laughs> Jordan Peele's sick, dude. Yeah, I mean, there's, yeah, there's not much really to it. I just think he's hilarious. I like his movies, too. I think he's a good director. Definitely. Yeah, he's definitely. definitely. Supposedly his next one will come out December 2024. But no, like, details on what it is. I'll probably watch it. <laughs> I'll, I'll watch it. it. I'll Peele watch is, it. Like, and fucking hilarious. Like, I, that's one it of really is. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and they were funny on uh, Mad TV. I don't know if I ever saw them on Mad TV. Uh, they had they had a couple good like characters. When did that oh, show I stop? Mad TV was like I don't even know. Stewart. Remember Stewart? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I feel like that shit like. That was that's what I think of when I think of Mad TV. <laughs> Yeah, I particularly like Will Sasso from back then. I still think he's so fucking funny. Uh, but yeah, with him as like Steven Seagal or like Kenny Rogers, those those sketches <coughs> crack me up. All right. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Nobody else like Will Sasso? That's fine. Will Sasso. Yeah, I'm bad. Will Sasso on Vine? Oh, Vine. Dude, Vine, yeah. Vine was, fu- that was, he was peak Vine. Yeah. The that was so short lived. Celebrities. No. Salvador Dali. That's being my smoke circle. Damn. Yeah. Damn. Okay. Are you serious? I actually, I heard he was a piece of shit too. Was he? Was he a wife beater? Uh, I forget the nature of it, but something I thought, bad. I thought he was a cool guy. Is anybody yeah. good? Well, <laughs> like, under, uh, under scrutiny, I don't think so. Yeah. <laughs> and these, but the thing <laughs> under is, these scrutiny. Are, no, you're right. Yeah, no. <laughs> but these are people who live before the smartphones. So if it, if they're known as a piece of shit. When no one could even film it and talk about it, then they were probably a real piece of shit. Or everybody was jealous. Could be. Jealous of what? <laughs> Salvador Dali's success. Oh, yeah, yeah. 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 I'd assume so. He, uh, His wife, he absolutely stole from a poet. That's a fun fact about Salvador Dali. Really? Yeah. Oh, I didn't know that. He, uh, like, was just, like, swooped right in, stole her. I think she broke up, with, like, divorced this dude when, like, divorce was, like, a no-no. But you're Salvador Dali. I don't think I don't. You're not. That's fucking. <laughs> They're like that guy's weird. Obviously, that's the right choice. I'm gonna marry that guy. He has a cool mustache and a funny haircut. Did you? And he s- paints nice things. Yeah, did you see that clock painting? I'm fucking marrying that guy. Yeah. <laughs> you probably didn't want to fuck with Salvador Dali because his paintings are so fucked up. You're like that guy's. Yeah, that guy, I don't know what he's capable of. Yeah, a lot of those artists are like fucked up. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> 
Yeah, Van Gogh. He was fucked up. Oh, for he sure. He fucked himself up. Is that he? He was the one who carved off, it took, like took off his ear, right? Oh yeah, I yeah. think so. Yeah, that's yeah, fucking right. badass. For a for a lady, I think. Was it Dolly's wife? <laughs> 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 I want no, my girl back. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Imagine if that worked, though. You cut off your ear. All right, I'm fucking you, big time. She was like, <laughs> "You never listen." No. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you got another question, Logan? I think we all got one, right? Yeah. That's the smoke circle. Who what is it? You got you said uh Jordan Peele, Dolly, uh John Lennon. Yeah, Who do you say? Bill, Bill, Bill Murray. Murray. You said Einstein or Tesla. Yeah, I'm gonna say Einstein. Einstein. That's a pretty dope. Well, I feel like that'd be so intimidating. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah probably. <laughs> <laughs> like you just get like high and then you start spouting off. I'd probably immediately regret it. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. Nah, dude, I'm dumb as shit. <laughs> <laughs> but you know so yeah, much shit that dude. he wouldn't know at this point. You kind of drop some knowledge on him. Dude. <laughs> yeah, be like, hey, hey dude, feel stupid. Yeah. Dude, you were wrong about that shit, fucking idiot. <laughs> was, was he like? Was he ever wrong about anything? He was incomplete, but I mean, he's he was like a hundred years ahead of his time. But what do you mean he incomplete? Like, like he was on the right track, but just out. didn't finish. <laughs> like he, he advanced physics that massively, but like there's new theories that he that he, he wasn't totally accurate. Basically, oh, he was wrong about a couple things, but he was mostly right. I think he has the right to be wrong about a few things. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah like <laughs> like marrying his cousin. Yeah, he's okay. It's okay that he was wrong about that. <laughs> I think. Wasn't he originally like a Nazi scientist? Am I making that up? No, I think he you're was making a that Jew. up. Yeah, but I thought yeah, he was a Einstein. Jew. No, no, no. He uh, he evaded. No. Uh, he left um, Poland. Poland. Um, I, Germany. No, I just he thought Germany. He, he was a German yeah. scientist. He left. Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah. So I thought he was like a Nazi scientist at one. No, no, not States at all. Very early on, he he saw that shit coming from a mile away. He was like, "Fuck that!" I'm oh, that's here. why he worked on the Manhattan Project, dude. Mm-hmm. He didn't. Mm-hmm. Well, he's essentially responsible for nuclear physics in general, and that was his biggest regret: was that his discoveries led to the nuclear bomb. Shit. Oh, yeah, I guess, the guy we, I guess we, no, he only regretted it because we dropped it on Japan instead of Germany. He's like, that's not who I agreed to fuck up. <laughs> <laughs> we miss you, Einstein. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Wish you were still around. The more we talk about it, the less I want to get high with him, though. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Sounds like you'd be very distracted. <laughs> like, All right. You serious? <laughs> Where he smokes dope once and just doesn't want to do anything ever again. I'm like, nah, you still have to do the MC Square thing. <laughs> Come on, man. Don't lose motivation now. Wait, are you <laughs> hanging out with, like, pre that Einstein? I don't know. <laughs> In the scenario, yeah. You're like, I'd I like to hang out with Einstein before you really knew what he was talking about. Yeah, I want average Einstein. <laughs> In the made-up scenario that I was playing out, yes, it was a, it was a early Einstein. <laughs> well, you just call him Albert at that point. Oh, Al. Good old Al. Yeah. <laughs> you can call me Al. Anyway, I'll <laughs> be Connor Boyce wants to know what's your favorite Leo movie. Uh, like so many celebrity questions. So many yeah, celebrities. Oh, All oh, right, I'm so bad. Yeah. We can fucking skip that one. Uh, <laughs> Sorry, Connor. All right, here's a here's a not celebrity one. Are you scared? To die. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely. Yeah. yeah, dude. Being alive rocks. I don't want to stop. <laughs> yeah. I love when you're just trying to fall asleep and then you just think about when you're going to die. <laughs> yeah. yeah <dude. laughs> you just can't go to bed. <laughs> my, my idiot Ooh. brain, we're talking about death. I thought you'd be like, I love when you just like fall asleep and then you wake up again. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's almost like It's dying. not the last time. Yeah. Well, sometimes you wake up and you think that you're dying. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Mm. Like when you fall in a dream, you're like, <laughs> "Oh yeah, yeah, yeah." <laughs> That's scary. I've Do you remember the first time you like realized that was, you were like a, a thing that will die? Yes, yes. Actually, I do. Which is funny you mention it. Um, it was a very scary memory. I remember I was like explaining it to my sister because like one of our cats died, and I was like, "Oh yeah, the cats died," and I was like, "It's okay though. Like we all die. Like everything dies one day. I die, you die, dad dies, mom dies, I die." Holy shit! Holy shit! And I like all worked up, and I like ran. And I was like, I don't want to die. And I like ran to my mom, and, like give her a hug. She's like, what the fuck? <laughs> and Aaron was like, totally fine. Yeah, my sister was like, we're doing whatever the fuck. I was like, all right, yeah. So that, I very specifically remember that. Yeah, I remember. I remember the first time I had that realization as well. I think I was like six or so. We were at the sh- we were at the supermarket because I used to go with my mom, 
And this old lady just dropped dead at the supermarket. Holy shit. And that was like my confrontation with it. And it's like, hmm. She's talking it. about it. She's like, oh, we all die. And it's like, oh my God, we, we all, we all dead die? dead in the grocery <laughs> store. That's going to happen to me. <laughs> they, say, do, they say die doing what you love, you know? <laughs> Women <laughs> love shopping, bro. <laughs> Grocery shopping. <laughs> yeah, well, if you're John Lennon's Logan's wife, you better be grocery shopping. do not reflect the Now Your Friends podcast views. Uh, <laughs> women are allowed to like anything they want to like. Well. Except for cooking and shopping. We're trying to beat stereotypes here, so. Just like John Lennon beat his wife. Um, yeah, I, re- I was very young, too. I remember looking in the bathroom mirror and being like, that's me? I'm like a guy? <laughs> <laughs> and I die. <laughs> Logan was trans for the audience. <laughs> <laughs> well, it was just so I don't know. I just had that moment of like, oh, that's like who I am. I don't like you. Just kind of, I feel like for a grand portion. So like of that's like time. when like you realize that you were like a living person. Yeah. yeah. Like I, I actually knew that I remember place. that too. I remember that day. Like just like walking out of my room and be like, I've never seen all this before, but I know what it is. Kind of oh, like, like the first day of your consciousness. Yeah, kind of thing? you guys remember like your first conscious moment. Like, like yeah, I mean, I, you just said that you did, kind of right. Yeah, I think that must have been it. I think I think it was looking in the mirror for me as well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, that's funny. I don't know about looking in the mirror. I don't know like my first. I don't know like when it all kicked in. I think oh, wait, probably, like, I four or five about, years ago. I thought ago. it was like about death, though, right? <laughs> yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> But I yeah, think first time I experienced like death was like a dead cat on the side of the road, like completely mangled. Oh, and, like, fuck. I was like, "What the? What? What is that?" <laughs> my, my, my sister's like, "Oh, it's a it's a cat." And I was like, "That's a cat." Like <laughs> that, that was a cat. That was kind of when I got the idea that like yeah, what is this past <laughs> things can shit. end badly. <laughs> yeah. You mean people can have been? <laughs> uh, you're you're asking this been? in like a really. Yeah. Crazy, like grown up. <laughs> uh, yeah, I don't know. It's weird. I feel like you have like a panic attack, and then like everything gets hyper real, like it does when you yeah. have a panic attack, and that really just like kicks it. kicks it in. Yeah, you're like, oh my god, like everything is real. <laughs> yeah, it's like when you take Molly. <laughs> you're like, wow, <laughs> this is here. Yeah, when you take Molly, it's just like freak out. Oh, this is fun. Freak out. This is fun. <laughs> freak out. <laughs> <laughs> And then See, I, like, I I've never again. tried drugs, but if I had tried those drugs, I would assume. Oh, yeah, I've that never done drugs. Either. I've never done drugs, but I would assume <laughs> that'd be the greatest experience in my life, and I'd only experience pure bliss the three or four times I would have tried right. that. Yeah, I've I've <laughs> also never done drugs. But, but <laughs> I've never done drugs, but uh, Molly is probably my favorite. I would yeah. say. <laughs> yeah, yeah, me this is a fun debate. Say so we're all gonna die one day. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But see, on that topic of death, so, and I, I have this argument with my wife all the time. If you could live for like thirty thousand years, would you? Totally. Could I choose Absolutely. to turn it off? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, you're not. To, like, you're not like immortal, punished with immortality. It's oh, like okay, if yeah. you could just, you know, if you could be like, oh, well, we get to live for a hundred thousand years instead of a hundred ish. Wait, but can you die at any point? Same as now, just yeah, that you can still you're healthy. Get hit by a car and just you die. swallow okay. a pill, you age at one one thousandth of the age uh, of the normal rate. So you naturally is that just would live. you or everyone, like just everyone. Well, lives that I long. suppose that is part of it, right? Yeah, I, I'll say I, everyone. I, uh, everyone. Everyone. Then, oh yeah, then absolutely. There's gonna be some serious population issues, but uh, yeah, I'm in. Yeah, see, I I feel like that's a no-brainer, right? It would be like tough if like you were the only imagine. one because then it would yeah, be like every family see, is like owning a that's pet. That's kind of a curse. It's like, you know, <laughs> that's the worst part when they die and they go. Yeah, you have to watch. <laughs> you have to watch thousands of people yeah, die every right. time you get close to someone. You're like, ah. <laughs> So your kid is like a train in yeah. slow motion. You're just like waving goodbye to you from baby to like old man. See you, buddy. I'll like, see you in 30,000 years. <laughs> <laughs> but even then, even if you were the only one, I mean, it's sort of like getting a cat or a dog, right? You know they're going to die in some short period of time that's shorter than your life, but you still do it. You still enjoy them and love it. Like, yeah. Wouldn't you still choose to live 10,000 years even if everyone else is going to die? It's yeah, kind of like, I like the Arrival, that, that movie Arrival. Oh, I haven't it's seen like, it. Oh, I'm I not going to spoil it. it but, oh, oh, it's really? All right. You, all right, well, cut this part out, but I'm not going to spoil it, but just go watch the fucking movie. It's a great movie. <laughs> I did hear it's very good. It's one of my favorite movies of all time. Have really? You seen it? What, what is it? Sorry. Arrival? Oh, right. No. All right, fuck you guys. This is a great movie. But so, but so hold on. It deals for, with those kind of things. You live for 30,000 years, but like from when you were born? Yeah, well, like what, the what's the alternative? What do you mean? Some, like I don't know if I could live like 30,000 years like anywhere across 
time. No. Oh, I just I'm talking purely about lifespan. If you choose to just be able, like your body will last thirty thousand years unless you you know get shot or something. Like, I mean, like dying of old age will not happen for some thousands like your, of years. Your organs getting old and failing. Yeah, slowly. no, yeah, yeah. I mean, I get it in that capacity, I guess. I just, like... Didn't. And also, importantly, we're stretching the aging process. Like, it's not like you're going to be... You know, you look at, like, a 100-year-old person, you're like, oh, I don't want to be that. You're not going to be that for 30,000 years. No, so no, like, I figured that, too. I'm oh just God, like... Yeah, that'd be terrible. Yeah, yeah. Right, 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 right. <laughs> yeah. Looked like you were 30,000 years old. <laughs> <laughs> how, how much worse could it get, yeah. honestly? <laughs> <laughs> Literally nobody would want to talk to you. <laughs> They'd be like, ew. But yeah, I'm, I don't know. I'm all for that. It's funny because Chloe is total opposite. She's like, no, I don't, I don't think that's... No, I, I would not want that's that. That's very humble of her. That's, that, a humble, that's a humble... But you yeah, basically uh, become royalty at some point in history. You know what I mean? It's like, this yeah. dude's been alive for like a thousand years. <laughs> <laughs> Give this yeah, dude a also, castle and like, do what he says. Like, <laughs> <laughs> I think around 200 years in, so, a few people are like, I mean, can he be killed? Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. I'm yeah. going to kill him. I'm going to be the guy <laughs> yeah. that kills yeah. the dude. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, if you were I the only on one, you definitely bit. wouldn't last because someone would just fucking kill you. Yeah, but there's <laughs> you'd like have to others. be like a vampire. You'd have to kind of like not really Go exist into hibernation. in people's lives. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> you'd have to keep moving around and shit. But if oh. everyone could last that long, I mean, that's a whole different conversation, I guess, but... That's a whole podcast in itself. Yeah. yeah. All right, let's start that podcast. What, uh, <laughs> what yeah. I think is weird is that <laughs> we can talk about dying and we're all going to be like dead one day and that's the thing. And I'm not anxious at all. But this podcast will live it. forever. The podcast will live forever. This is immortalizing me right now. Um, I'm invincible. But now. I'm not anxious about it, but then I will go home and I will be very anxious about it. Yeah. And, mm. Or I'll hit weed one more time and I'll be very anxious about it. Yeah. I'm thinking about <laughs> if people live to be 30,000 years old, that you know there would be like a group of pathetic losers that marry their high school sweetheart and ride it out for 30,000 <laughs> years. That's crazy. No fucking way anyone would last that long. Dude, no way. there are people out there that would be like, it's just, I'm just really comfortable with it. You know, it's just kind of what I know. It's like hard to stop doing. No, I think everyone would eventually get know. sick of everybody. Right? Uh, yeah, that's right. another thing. Like, if because after like the pansies after been seventy churned. years, I'd be like, I'm so sick of you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I'm so sick of you. Get out of yeah, my it, life. <laughs> everyone over like three hundred years old would just live in a cabin in the woods and be like, I don't want to fucking see anyone. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Did you see the banshees of in your? Oh, we <laughs> just watched that. We just watched uh, that. Yeah, that movie becomes like way less of like a. Surprise! Yeah. If people are they're on year like ten thousand, it's like yeah, I'm good with you. <laughs> Although ironically, I felt like I don't want to dive into that movie right now. But oh, I yeah. felt like oh, did, wait, did anybody see it? I have not seen no? it. No. Oh, okay. All right, yeah, yeah. Let's just move on. Uh, yeah, it's very good though. Wait, really quick, edit this out. But see that movie. <laughs> <laughs> hey, leave this part in, Logan. You're a. F- <laughs> <laughs> he can say that I'm gay. <laughs> it's a hate crime. <laughs> <sighs> the only other question I had was the best concert you've ever been to. That's not a bad one. I was really impressed with David Byrne when I saw him. It's a good the one. American Utopia. I don't know him to be honest. Talking Some Heads. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay. okay. Nice. I'd, I'd have to go Queens of the Stone Age, best band I've seen live. It was Boston Calling when I saw them, so it wasn't their concert. But oh, I think I was I was at that show. Yeah. Oh really? Yeah. Oh we, I think we ran into you there. Yeah. I I left early to go see Jack White. Oh damn. Logan they were on seizing. the stage next to each other. <laughs> There's no need. They played right next to each other. Yeah, I still left mm. early. That's so <laughs> stupid. <laughs> I mean, I'm, I'm a big no Queens of the Stone Age fan. Brian. Yeah, I mean, I like them in general, but yeah. I, just I, I, I also am snobby life. about music, as it turns out. <laughs> Dennis also just did that because I don't like the Killers, and I wasn't impressed with them the night before, so he wanted to you spite me. I thought they were great. I thought they were they fine. They are great. You thought they were fine. See, you're snobby. That's not what you said. You're you snobby about you, music. You meant it hurtfully when you said they were the worst band you've ever seen live. I did not say they were the worst <laughs> band I've ever the, the seen live. The Killers you thought were the worst? Yeah. No, They're I not. never said that. That would you be an audacious claim. <laughs> I've seen some of the worst bands of all time. You probably did say it, though. She I didn't. Was, uh, I said I was like, goof. I said I was like kind of bored. They were, I, it felt like a Vegas lounge act to me. Kind of bored. That's almost worse <laughs> than saying they're the. You will. You're gonna go right for pitchfork. You little fucking. 
<laughs> what? <laughs> they were good. They were good. They sounded Vegas great, but I just lounge act. I feel like that's very yeah. It just looked very Las crazy. Vegasy. Like he had like they're the, from Vegas. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> but I didn't. <laughs> I did forget that, but I also that doesn't make it okay to me. All right, whatever. Sheena, wh- wh- what was the best concert you've been to? I don't really go to a lot of concerts, but we we, do, we went to Black Sabbath that one time. Oh, oh that, dude, that was a good yeah, one. I yeah, love Black nice. I was like, yeah. oh, these dudes are about to like suck. They're gonna be so old and stuff. But they were pretty good. I mean, yeah. they were definitely still old, but they were still pretty good. <laughs> That's dope, dude. <laughs> yeah, I'll always admire. Ozzy that was probably Osborne's. the biggest band I like saw live, like the most famous, for sure. Where what what year was that? <sighs> when was that, Dennis? That was like that was a few years ago. That was like that five years like ago or something. Twenty eighteen, maybe. Oh okay. Yeah, yeah, oh, like their final their tour, tour or whatever. Tour. Yeah. yeah, their like eighth final farewell tour. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so many of them. I saw them at Ozfest in like two thousand seven or something. I saw the Ozfest was... in two thousand. That was a and they were still free fest? really old. Yeah. <laughs> uh, what? No, it was not free. Oh. They played with like Iron Maiden and uh, <laughs> Mudvayne. 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 I don't know who Mudvayne is. <laughs> They're goofy as fuck. I didn't uh, think they'd be big enough to be there. At that point in time, they were. They were like, they only had a couple years left after that, though. True. Queens of Stone Age is also the best live band I've ever seen, but Riot Fest was the best time for me. But I was also oh, yeah. like on a lot of drugs, <laughs> but it uh, it was fucking crazy. But it was also <laughs> the first time I saw them. I feel like that's part of it. I mean, they're uh, they're sick live. Aaron Campbell wants to know if you could open your own company, what would it be, and why? I mean, I, my answer will kind of be gay. <laughs> <laughs> There's so many words you could use to describe anything you're trying to say. You yeah. called me a <laughs> like two minutes ago. And I have that right. <laughs> <laughs> All yeah, right. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Uh, I mean, I would open a comedy club. You think wow. that's gay? <laughs> it's a little on the nose for me. It's a little less gay than my answer. <laughs> what, Sheena, what about you? A business? Uh, I don't know. Shit. <laughs> if, I, if I knew, I would have started one. <laughs> yeah, dude, fuck. I got no idea. Um, here, skip me. Go, let me. Let me get some time to think about that. I'd open a lesbian bar in Boston. Okay. A I, bar when you a said one. a bar would be a good one. Yeah. When you said mine, actually, I changed that. No, that would suck. <laughs> <laughs> I'm thinking again. Keep skipping me. <laughs> when you said mine was l- a little less gay than yours, I my mind was running like wild with w- at what gay venture it could be. I was you like, maybe a new app that's not grinder, that's more like sophisticated, maybe a gay bar. <laughs> Get yeah, a gay bar pretty quick. A, lesbi- <laughs> a lesbian bar for lesbians. Why just lesbians? Because <laughs> there's no lesbian bars in Boston. In every other oh, really? city, there's like. A bunch of lesbian bars. There's not a single one in Boston. Does it kind of feel surprising. weird to have a lesbian bar, though? Not really. What? Have you been what? to a lesbian bar? There's no, like, guys-only bars. I mean, there are just because, like, <laughs> there's bars that only guys would like to go to. I, mean, I don't think... I, mean, I, I don't know, but... I, bars where mostly there are gay men. I would yeah, imagine a lesbian lesbians. bar won't turn you away if you're a guy. It's just like... No, I've been to yeah. lesbian bars. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah. yeah. No, that's Like a gay enough. bar. It's not... Like they're not going to turn you away. It's just... Not that, and I mean, not that I was saying that because I would have an issue with one, but I'm just thinking of like people (laughs) fucking slippery slope arguments or like, like, oh, well, what if they're trans? Like, blah, blah, blah. blah. They can come too. I just picture they can 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 (laughs) three. Uh, They can what? Three. I remember earlier joking about coming being. I got you. Oh, yeah, right. It's a callback. (laughs) Okay. <laughs> Sorry. Comedy bar, huh? Anyway, <laughs> anyways, I'm pro lesbian bar, dude. I'll go to one right now. Oh, Boston doesn't have any. <laughs> yeah, not yet. <laughs> not fucking yet. <laughs> I thought you were gonna say dispensary. To be honest, no, fuck that. A lesbian dispensary. Right now. A lesbian dispensary. <laughs> 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 they just dispense lesbians. <laughs> that might actually uh, be good for some. The dispenser would actually be sick. Mine would be probably kind of boring. So I write software. I have this kind of idea. I feel like I would like to write an app, like a web app or something. Maybe something kind of like Reddit, but the idea being it's more for debate, but like philosophical debate. Like instead of just like upvoting or downvoting something, you can address an argument with like a, a, a fallacy or something like that to detract from it, like strengthen an argument or weaken an argument. So you could like debate stuff, but in a more like almost like a debate club, but like an accessible way. So people could 
discuss things and it's not just like fueled by hatred or bias or something like that. Okay. I, I like that. It's kind of it's kind of like my pet idea that I'm toying You're with. You're going to have to put like a subscription on that cuz 4chan will ruin it real fast. <laughs> well, that's as long as they're <laughs> visiting it. <laughs> Brian's answer was so thought out. Like it's, <laughs> it's honestly something I've been toying with for I a while. I know, it's just so funny like me Dennis. <laughs> <laughs> bar. I just like. <laughs> yeah. I just like stole both of your answers. <laughs> I was like, bar. Yeah, sounds good. Actually, dispensary. <laughs> Brian's like, I have this idea. We're like, oh fuck. <laughs> we were did not come prepared. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I would use that. Honestly, I probably get kicked off. Oh yeah, yeah, I would ban you day one. Yeah, yeah, for sure. <laughs> Keep making burner accounts. <laughs> Very agreeable guy. Two one three. <laughs> <laughs> but that's the idea: is that it doesn't matter if you're some vitriolic, like hateful person, because your arguments will be detracted. You know, that's that would be my hope. Like downvoted. Yeah, well, like but, the idea, but it's not idea. downvoted. Like I don't like that. It's downvoted. Like I can make an argument against that, and that therefore we. Oh, it, okay. You know? I thought like. If like it's not just I like that correct. or I don't like that. It's like my, this argument is weak and thus it gets downvoted intrinsically. You yeah, see what I, I mean? figure other put people like voted on like which argument they liked more, and that like kind of shifted well, the. They they vote in a sense, but I would say they vote via strengthening the argument in some philosophical sense, right. v- not right. just like I like that, you know. But then how do you? But how do you like? Uh, how is it judged like who had a better point or something I guess yeah well and that's the interesting part and that's kind of what I struggle with like there's no objective truth right I think you can have arguments that are more accurate or like you can have like axioms that are like accepted truths like what is the definition of this word or something and so that's like a strong basis and you can have weak things like this is what I believe I can strengthen it with other stuff. It's the first. The, the first, beauty about philosophy the, is that everyone's wrong. Yeah. So. Yeah, 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 right. But that's why it would be interesting, right? Because no one is right. Yeah. No one's. There's nothing that's an All absolute right, the, truth. The I first think thing I'm too that stupid you have for to, this site. <laughs> <laughs> the first thing you have to post on the site for a, a, like a, a you know grand opening argument is Logan. <laughs> <laughs> So I was gonna be loving all the beeping he's gonna be doing. <laughs> Do you guys censor this? Yeah. Oh, uh, nice, nice. Actually, yeah. You first of all, you better censor it. Censor it, Tyler. And second of all, Tyler. better not hear a goddamn word Tyler. about it because I fucking edit our podcast and he's the number one perpetrator of that shit. You called him. <laughs> it. That was really goofy. Tyler. <laughs> Tyler. <laughs> I was like, Tyler. Like little baby Tyler. <laughs> <laughs> what's uh? What's an unconventional smell you like? Asked by Monica, last week's guest. Conventional smell. My own farts. Well, <laughs> that's con- that's farts. conventional. <laughs> yeah. No, come on, that's conventional. Farts. <laughs> <laughs> Thank I you. Mean, that's two. What do you guys think? <laughs> I mean, I'm with you on like your own farts. No, that's conventional. Everyone likes to smell their own farts. A lot of people don't, or really? a lot of people pretend they don't. I did an Instagram poll once because me and Tyler were arguing about it. I believe Tyler says he doesn't like the smell of his own farts. Well, yeah, his whatever. farts are fucking toxic. <laughs> so are mine. Yeah, your farts have to be like really bad. <laughs> I got Febreze on the standby at the apartment. <laughs> uh, Logan's are pretty brutal as well. Yeah, you got some fucking nasty. Logan, farts. you farted when we were watching Scream during the movie. You definitely farted at one point. Probably. And, uh, I was so mad at you because <laughs> I was like, "Fuck, man." I'm just trying to enjoy this movie. Well, the movie wasn't really helping you either. Yeah, it wasn't. It was. It wasn't good, but it wasn't horrible. Yeah, it wasn't the worst, but it wasn't good. Uh, goofy. Uh, I, I like most bad smells that come from like my own body. To be honest, <laughs> like they How don't. How many are me. there? <laughs> you know, your armpits. You're like. Yeah, yeah, I like, dig. Whatever sweat. If your fingernails are long, kind of gets smelly under there. Oh, I haven't what? experienced that. Are you fucking you for real? Pulling down. Behind the ear? No, I figured you get a smell what? from there. I'm sorry. What? what? Yeah, I don't. I don't know Behind about that your one. Fingernails smell bad. I've never. Wonder sh- if you, if like you, if you, if your fingernails get a little longer after like they work, like they they smell. I've never. Yeah, they have a little smell. smell. They have a little smell. <laughs> I don't know, man. Check it, check it out tomorrow. No, I just tried it. My fingernails don't have a scent. As someone who picks his nose all the time, I've never smelled my fingers. <laughs> <laughs> well, I don't have them right now, but I like wash I my hands so. recently. <laughs> yeah. well, I, also just, <laughs> I also just trim them, but like so I don't even have them. Yeah, but, yeah of course. That's the, you don't even have the yeah. smell because you trimmed them. But at the end um, of at the end of the day at work, dude, like right. where, if you haven't washed them in a while. Uh, what uh, What are you doing at work? 
scratching his ass, I think. I don't know. <laughs> no. I dude, I'm not making this up. I I mean I believe I know it. you're I mean, not, you're... which is what's wild. <laughs> <laughs> your fingernails Your smell. hands are like the dirtiest part of your body. Like. Yeah, but, yeah, but yeah, the underneath sense, of my fingernails sense. don't smell. Yeah, I promise I... you, just try it out. All right, all right. I'm gonna try this out. It's okay. it's kinda comparable to like the smell of like your belly button. Like oh, when you have lint okay. in there. Hmm. Okay. You're smelling the lint of your belly button. Confirmed now? that does smell bad. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> what do you what do you mean? You've never smelled like anything that comes from my body at least one time I smell out of curiosity. Give it a sniff. I mean Yeah. <laughs> no, not a taste. You gotta I'm not find out. Smelling you know? my fingernails though. I guess that's like I think one time I was like biting them or something, and I was like, What the fuck? And then <laughs> yeah. I was like, actually I don't hate that because it's mine. Yeah, honestly, I feel like any of my answers to this question are Probably not that unconventional. Like gasoline, I love that oh, smell. I, I like forgot the yeah, question. Yeah, I was like, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, like Yankee candles. Is that <laughs> unconventional? <laughs> no, some people don't like gasoline, right? But I don't know. I, I was yeah, I was literally thinking that, but I was like, I feel like everyone just loves gasoline. Yeah, I can't yeah, think of anything. Yeah. Everyone hates um, anything. That you know, that's kind hates. of a weird one. Like vinegar. Oh, I hate. I hate All right. that so I, much. I found one. I Boo, fucking Dennis. terrible. <laughs> oh, I'd rather I like smell Logan's fingernails stuff, but not really particularly smelling it. What's that? Like I like tasting vinegar on certain things, but not smelling it so much. Uh, I'm just anti- like if you, when you crack open a bag of salt and vinegar chips. I don't like that, salt and vinegar right. chips. I oh like, really? Yeah, but I like vinegar on French fries. They do that at uh, Castle Island. It's I would have good. assumed that was similar to salt and vinegar chips. No, salt and vinegar chips are like so dry and like they hmm. can cut your mouth up and it hurts. I mean, I'm not a fan, so I'm with you there. But oh, yeah, I'm, I am so. terrible. All right, I found one. <laughs> nice. <laughs> I'm worried. <laughs> what about? Do you like the smell of threes? Smell what? Cum? Oh, cum. Yeah. Do I like the smell of cum? <laughs> yeah, it doesn't smell that bad. Do you like the taste of cum? Tyler, edit this part out. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I love the taste of cum. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I'm just curious. A lot of girls like hate it. I mean, it depends on the cum, honestly. If I'm like into you, your cum is probably gonna, in my like psychologically taste better. <laughs> If, if like if I'm like sucking a dick and I'm like it seems more like a chore, <laughs> like, you guys know, right? Oh, I yeah, really have to finish this. <laughs> it's so much. And then I put the dick in my mouth. <laughs> and I go, Whoa. <laughs> right? Yeah, yeah. yeah. You All know right. those trees that smell kind of like cum? Does anyone know what I'm talking yeah. about? Yeah, no, I have. That's no like idea. when uh, I think I know. What are those called? About. They it's it's every year like when it starts becoming spring they. Okay. Yeah, yeah. You know that makes sense because sometimes I'll just smell cum in the wild. I'm like, where is it? Where is that? I guarantee. From? <laughs> <laughs> like, like, guys, I don't know. Does that ever happen to you? But like, <laughs> I bet. I bet you this will cum? get me the answer. Hey Siri, what are the cum trees? No, not country. <laughs> <laughs> Close. C U N T. Hey Siri, what are the cum smelling trees? <laughs> Why the trees on your street smell like semen? Okay, but what are they? P- Pyrus Cali. There's got to be another name because I don't know what the that's fuck that is. So the funny thing is, I don't know if this is true, but what I heard is that's like a fine that, enough that's an invasive <laughs> species, <laughs> and like some some I think it was like some town municipality or something like picked that tree and was like, we're gonna plant those in the town, and because it's an invasive series, it's ended up all over the place. But also, who the fuck picked that in the first place? Like it smelled like cum. They're like, "Yep, that's well, gonna be our town tree." It attracts <laughs> uh, insects. That makes Which sense because what you're smelling is pollen. It's the smell of pollen, but that's so what you guys call pollen. Is it like one of those bug? plants that like eat bugs? I don't. I don't know. No, I don't like, think so. Wait, sorry, I made that up. <laughs> oh. It's so, uh. So you're just making things. Wait, up. what? No, I swore it said that. Because some plants will like attract bugs to it, just so. Like, just so you can they get like it. stuck yeah. in them, like a Venus flytrap. Ah, yeah, like, yeah, different. <laughs> oh, that's cool. I like yeah, that. It's, it's like carn- like yeah, carnivore plants. Yeah, I like that. It's it seems so like wild. The Venus flytrap has teeth. It, like, Dude. what's the purpose of it? It doesn't like. I don't. It doesn't chew. But it looks it like just it has, like, like I think it's just supposed to like yeah they just like tighten yeah uh, yeah it's, it's, like, it looks like teeth. otherwise they could just like sneak out right yeah. they could yeah. just slip out of there because then they no. close it and then they just like digest it I think and then like they just open it back up and there's oh. nothing there what what <laughs> a shit way to go is, yeah right it's like you oh over the next like, two weeks you're gonna be digested yeah <laughs> <ugh>. terrible <laughs> that's why it's like dude it's right bad to, like if it's bad to touch them I'm wicked far away from the mic it's bad to touch them because like uh they expend like so much energy trying to like uh um, kill oh, yeah. the thing so it's oh, like that'll cause them to, yeah, yeah so yeah. they like waste their energy basically like, huh. you can kill them 
I really thought they had a different name, but I can't find it. Uh, but the it cum trees? It, yeah, but it is no, because... No, they're just cum trees. <laughs> well, it is because they... Uh, it is to attract pollinators, so... That's why it smells like cum once a year. I mean, <laughs> sufficient research on Logan's part. What is cum but human pollen? So wait, so that's one of the smell. That's one of the unconventional smells we like is the cum trees. Oh, I don't even like it. So it's you guys just, like the smell of cum, right? <laughs> <laughs> no, I hate the smell Gay. of tree. <laughs> Gay. Gay. <laughs> it's an LB tree. LB tree. Q. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> LB. That LGBT joke was a real tree cue. <laughs> Queer? Uh, question. Oh, <laughs> uh, what was the... Uh... Oh, um, I, I was thinking of a funny joke earlier. I was singing the uh, song... Uh, Tyler, edit this part out. <laughs> uh, <laughs> in the song uh, Age of Aquarius... Yeah, it's the age oh, of yeah. Aquarius. The song Aquarius. Of the age yes. of Aquarius. The uh, so no, 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 no. I'm just calling Logan a queer. <laughs> <laughs> that was a good bit. Thanks. Uh, that's so Tyler, the end of Forty Year Old really Virgin. That part out though. <laughs> yeah, it is <laughs> the end of Forty Year Old Virgin. That's yeah. right. That's a great song. Let the sun shine. No. It is. Did you say no? Not a fan. You're not really? a fan of that song. That's song's epic, have a dude. Fucking heart. It's pretty goofy. But yeah, it's good. What <laughs> songs can't be goofy and be awesome at the same time? <laughs> uh, no, they can. Okay, I was one. ready to say no, but I really like the new 100 Gex album, which is just an album of goofy shit. You guys know 100 Gex? Uh, I, <laughs> I don't. No, I do. I don't. Yeah, Tyler, make sure you edit this part out. This stinks. <laughs> 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 no, they're cool. They're like a, a duo. They make the fucking weirdest music I've ever heard. I forget. What do they call it? Like hyper... Hyper pop. Hyper pop. Yeah. It's, yeah. I mean, it's a... Song to song basis for me, but I do like some of their songs. The a lot. new one's like very good. The first, oh, yeah? the first one's okay, but this one mm. rocks. All right, uh, Aaron <clears throat> sent in another question. It's actually more of a, a thing. She wants Bri- uh, Brian and Chino to play two truths and a lie, and then you guys have to figure out. Then you guys have to. Guess. Okay, two truths and a lie. Uh, what did I just watch? Oh, I just watched Bones and All. This goofy ass movie, right? Dude, what the fuck? It was a goofy ass movie. I liked it, honestly. Yeah, fucking, of course you would. <laughs> <laughs> it was decent, <laughs> no. but it's fucked up. Is this eat the one me, you texted the other day? You're like, it's fucked. Me bones yeah. and all. Bones wait, and wait, all. Wait, what is this movie? movie? Yeah, it, what's movie. it about? You're fucking stupid. It was. Uh, it's based on a young movie. adult vampire. They're not vampires. Uh, the They're cannibals. cannibals. Cannibles. Sorry. This is it's like a. Va- it's like a young. It's it's weird. It's based on a book that is. Classified as a young adult novel, which seems wild to me after seeing the movie, but it's basically like a love story, but like they're cannibals, but it's like, it gets pretty fucking like gory at parts. Hmm. Yeah. So I think. But gory doesn't really like affect me. I thought this, like, just like the, uh, I don't know. It had a couple things I like wasn't crazy about, but overall I thought it was pretty, it was a pretty good watch. Everybody's like really good in it. I, think. I love the guy, the old guy in that movie. What's, yeah. I forget the character's Mark, name. Some, uh, yeah. Sully. Sully, yeah, that's good shit. Is it a serious? He movie? was great. It's pretty serious, yeah. Yeah, actually, yeah, it's mostly just serious. Uh, it is serious, and it start it hits the, the ending, gas the at the beginning. I didn't love the end, but made me laugh. I, I was like laughing in the theater, and I was like, "This isn't the reaction the movie wanted." Yeah. All right, spoiler alert. But uh, <laughs> no, 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 don't spoil it. I already did. I said it earlier. But oh, <laughs> oh, I missed it. It's all right. Yeah, it, I don't know. Oh, yeah, I thought it was good. Yeah. Timothy Chalamet. He's oh, handsome. He's, he's, he's a good. fucking hunk. But he's pretty, dude. He's not even he's handsome. Pretty. He's, yeah, pretty. he's pretty. He's yeah. a pretty boy. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> Let's all just ponder that for a well, second. Well, that was my review. <laughs> Bones and all. <laughs> <laughs> all right. <laughs> 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 oh, fuck. <laughs> so, do you want to do it to each other first real quick and yeah, yeah, yeah. see? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. okay. Logan, you start. Okay. Um, <clears throat> I don't know why that's so hard. I was. Uh, stuff. I've. <laughs> it is hard. <laughs> um, okay. Try to make it not like glaringly obvious as soon as I say it. Like which yeah, ones? Yeah. Um, I was once email pen pals with a member of some forty-one. 
uh, I have met it's all okay. three members <laughs> of Blink-182. Also, it's okay. And I, I'm trying to think of things that are like tough to figure out if they're They're alive. all pop-punk related. No. <laughs> and and uh, I like Green Day. <laughs> and uh, <laughs> and uh, I, have, I have been skydiving. You've never been skydiving. Fuck <laughs> 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 the first two were so specific. Yeah. <laughs> I thought because they were like, glowing when you were talking about them. But I thought because they were like, highlighting like these. Oh yeah, and then I went Scott. Like, <laughs> yeah. I thought because those two were like sort of similar. You'd think one of them was alive. And Logan, if you went skydiving, there's no way you wouldn't let everyone know all the time. <laughs> like, I feel like you're the kind of guy to be like make it their profile picture on Facebook. If you okay, know. I don't think that's true, but I do. I am like I am like very much think like. I hope Tyler comes back is like the girl that studied abroad <laughs> <laughs> and like doesn't realize it. He's just like, well, when I was in Norway, <laughs> we're like, oh my God, you went to Norway. We get it. <laughs> All right. Uh, I'll think of some now. Uh, I've never been to Norway. <laughs> uh-huh. Uh, you know, it's two truths. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I've never been to Norway. <laughs> oh, you've never been? Sorry. <laughs> fucking I'm idiot. Fucking... God damn. <laughs> um, I value our friendship. <laughs> um, <laughs> and I've never uh, had a tooth knocked out in a fist fight. You've never had a tooth knocked out in a fist fight? Yeah. There it is, buddy. I value no, no, our two friendship. truths. Two truths. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Damn, those homophobes weren't hitting hard enough. Oh, my damn. Right <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> Um, <laughs> no, there's just I'm a lot to knock my own tooth out. <laughs> <laughs> You're homophobe. <laughs> Wait, what? Um, Brian, you got yours? Uh, all right, all right. I can pull it up. I can pull it up. And uh, now I'm completely forgetting. No, no. All right. <laughs> Sorry. All right. So I've never broken <laughs> a bone. Bullshit. <laughs> That's a lie. <laughs> you never what? Yeah, I didn't even. Hear oh, that you want to hear it now? Uh, I've never broken a bone. My first time on a plane, I jumped out. Uh, I feel like that's a trick. <laughs> <laughs> it does sound like a trick. It does sound like a trick. Uh, and I don't have my motorcycle license. Sorry, do you have my, Jesus Christ, do you have my motorcycle license? I'm going to guess that you don't have your motorcycle. <laughs> I do not. <laughs> <laughs> so the first time you were on a plane, you jumped out of it. Yeah, the first time so I was on a plane, it was skydiving. That's crazy. Wow, that must have been Damn. like kind of scary as well, being like, oh, what does this thing do? Oh, it takes you up in the sky. It was, kind of, it, was, it was cool. I mean, it was 18. So I feel like you don't give a shit as much then, you know, but it was oh, really cool. I, I haven't gone cool skydiving because sure. I've definitely given a shit <laughs> all the time. It's <laughs> <laughs> my life. Dude, I thought it was like when I was doing mine just now, it was like glaringly obvious, which like... As I was thinking of them, I was like, fuck, I'm taking too long. Like, it's going to be obvious this one's a lie. Then watching you, I had no idea. And I, like, would have known the answer <laughs> if I thought about it for, like, See, a I minute. thought I was doing good. Yeah, then, Brian, But I were, fucked up the motorcycle. You were really good with told, two truths and a lie. I just told three truths at first, though. <laughs> <laughs> Trick question. All of them. <laughs> yeah. All of our truths. <laughs> oh, uh, he, he fucking nailed so, it. Okay, so I got, um, I've never left the country. I'm a cat person over a dog person. And. Um, this is the lie, probably. I'm trying to think of a good lie. <laughs> totally never guess. Uh, <laughs> um, and my favorite color is blue. Oh, I should <laughs> And I don't have a motorcycle license. <laughs> I'm going to guess the lie is... You're getting mad at yourself for not thinking of the best punchline. <laughs> it's even funnier than the punchline. <laughs> <laughs> Happens to me all the time, dude. I'm like, as soon as I say it, I'm like, well, that's not what I'm trying to say. <laughs> I'll think of it once I like decide on something else. <laughs> uh, so uh, uh, your uh, your favorite color is blue? <laughs> what? Brian's guessing. Oh, oh fuck. <laughs> <laughs> I'm guessing the lie is cat person over dog person. That is actually totally true. Oh, a word. word. Right. So then the color one. So 
Sorry, I fucked that up. <laughs> <laughs> Spoiled that one. Your favorite color is she not blue. It took you so long to come up with that. <laughs> I think I actually fucked up. I think I just told you three truths. <laughs> <laughs> So honesty is a good uh, something you guys have in common. <laughs> you can't even yeah, lie when told to. And the third one is I've never lied. Like the worst motherfucking podcast. <laughs> <laughs> You're like my my favorite. You can't is. fucking do any other questions. <laughs> <laughs> you know the whole time. You're, you're like, uh, think, think of a lie. My favorite color fuck. is blue, and then you're just looking at the cap of your water bottle, and you're like. Actually, <laughs> actually, <laughs> I fucking love blue. <laughs> it's pretty good. I know, I couldn't remember. I was like, did I already tell a lie? <laughs> George Washington. Uh, I did oh the God. same thing. I get it. On dating, on Hinge, dude. There's a prompt that is like two truths and a lie, and every girl's is like so dumb. It like it's always like. I've been to Africa, and, like, one of their pictures is, like, them with an elephant. <laughs> it's like, I've been scuba diving in, like, fucking Hawaii, and, like, another picture scuba diving, and then the third one's like, I was Beyonce's personal assistant. It's like, <laughs> okay, white girl from Foxborough, I'm pretty sure it was that one. But you answer and send her the like anyway, right? No, I generally, like, there are kind of, like, stock things that I will not like a girl if it's like in her profile. Would you say you're snobby about? Yeah, actually, I guess. <laughs> there we go. There yeah. We go. There we go. Like uh, like most I w- I've started taking screenshots cuz like the amount is insane of white girls that know the best place in town for an espresso martini. Um <laughs> it's like I want to I want to invite them try and get them all to agree to go on a date with me on the same night. And be like, I brought you here tonight. <laughs> this is psychotic. To prove to me which the best espresso martini is. <laughs> this sounds like the start of a gaming show. Yeah, That's it's like I The mean. Bachelor. Like, but yeah, it's, like, You go on yeah. dates with beautiful women <laughs> to drink ex- exclusively espresso martinis. Yeah. <laughs> and, I, and, I try, and I rate, I'm secretly not there for the date at all. You eliminate I'm them. rating every espresso martini and then I'm going to bracket. <laughs> which is out. also like kind of like a basic white guy thing, I think. I think that's like kind of like a serial killer white guy thing. Wait, which I, guess I, I work with I work with a guy and him and his friends. Uh, I don't want to say basic white guy, Tommy, not basic. But <laughs> what the fuck? He does yeah. that. He I just uh, he goes around. Him. He has like an Instagram page and he um, uh, like judges. He like just reviews. For yeah, but at the martinis. end of this, martinis. I, I pick oh, espresso martinis. Espresso martinis. Specifically. Specifically. But at the end of this, the girl that had who who knew where the best espresso martini was. I should have choose that gets, girl. Gets, gets the rose, picker. dude. Yeah. And if more than one of them pick the same place, then I throw a knife in between the three of them from above a pit. <laughs> and only one can come out. And then that's what I'm going to do. Dude, that, right. that drink that's specifically. A <laughs> I know it's a callback. I just don't think it's a good way to air the show. <laughs> I mean, no, legally, it sounds like a nightmare. <laughs> Dude, that drink specifically, like, I like an espresso martini. I don't think I've ever had one that was like, this one is standout. It's different from the other. Like, they're all the fucking same. No, they're... Really? No, they're very different, actually. Oh, Some places yeah. are like way more espresso, like e, like not like so creamy. Well, usually at the places I've got them, they like ask you. They're like, how dark do you want it? Like, how much espresso do you want? You know, it's like. But some places just make like kind of like. I I feel like the ones that are very popular with girls are the ones that are like kind of more of a, a dessert. Oh yeah. yeah. But the like true espresso martini is like a borderline shot of espresso with vodka in it and then maybe a little Bailey's or something Kahlua I don't know but yeah they they can be pretty drastic I don't think I like espresso martinis yeah I I like them yeah I just just drink beer like just Bud Light like (laughs) that's it (laughs) Dave you should have filled in for Tyler (laughs) (laughs) I know right I like I like Bud Lights are like my like end of the night thing. I like to start off spicy and then I just go back to my. See, they have to be the beginning of the night thing, thing or else like the beginning of the night's the end of the night. (laughs) (laughs) Bud Light is drunk pretty fucking quick now. (laughs) Yeah, that's fair. If when I make a triumphant return in a few months, I should fucking just stick to Bud Light. Yeah. Are you uh, wait triumphant return? Yeah. Well, I I came back for for uh, a couple weekends, but I'm back to no sauce until May. I thought oh, good for you. Last time, last I knew, I thought you were just gonna do like on occasions or whatever, and you know, yeah, or that. I don't <laughs> fucking know. But mostly, <laughs> I'm just trying to make it to the Memorial Day weekend for now. 
be a good boy oh, okay. until Memorial Day. Maybe when's when's Memorial Day? Twice. May? Yeah, dog. When, when we're... When oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. New when, Jersey. We're, <laughs> when we're going to New Jersey. Right, right. <sighs> Logan, we're going to New Jersey as well. That's true. Yeah. Oh, yeah? I still September. owe you $300 for that. You sure do. Between yeah. your house, I think you owe a full month's rent. <laughs> huh? My Tyler owes me almost 500 for a Drake ticket. Oh, shit. How much were Drake tickets? 494 that sounds excessive. I got put through. That's actually not as bad as I would think it would be. Dude, I got really. Th- <laughs> it was the worst <laughs> ticket buying experience I could never I've ever be. had. Like, aren't like most concerts like like, like what like one fifty two hundred or something? It's fucking Drake. Yeah. Like, it's yeah. It's but it was like, dude, I got in fast, which is like not common. Like I I was in within like five minutes, and like the line was definitely way longer behind me. Got in. Got good tickets for like way less money. Got to check out and my car get declined. Oh, no. Twice in a row. So then I tried serious? my mom's and it declined that because our bank thought it was like fraud, but I didn't like know that immediately. I so mean, it basically it was fraud. Out. Like, but then I got right back in somehow. Got floor seats for like 600 a piece, which I was like, they're the fucking floor, whatever. Mm. Same exact so thing happened. Like, Dude. And so I like freaked out, and then like <laughs> fi- finally called my mom and like got like a different like mom, a credit mom. card from her. <laughs> mom, <laughs> want to like, see oh. the show? I was yeah, like, what demo you right guy away? Just, like fucked up or something? Like, like the, the my bank called like oh, ten they, minutes they later. Just thought, they were like, okay. did you try these charges? I, but it was like an automated <laughs> message, and they're lucky it was because I would have been like, yeah, I did. <laughs> and now <laughs> I paid more money for worse seats. You fucking asshole! It's so, like embarrassing <laughs> when the card just gets declined. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah thank God it was online, not like in person. <laughs> That's hilarious that your bank was like, you know, you can't afford that, right? <laughs> <laughs> but I was like, why? Like, this see, I was like, this is two hundred more per ticket than the Bruce Springsteen tickets, which I had no fucking issue getting. It's like, why? Why is it? They're like, you sure Drake is worth this much? Like, we get the boss. But like, <laughs> yeah. I don't think so. I feel like Bruce Springsteen is probably going to be putting on a better show, personally. Yeah, probably, but Drake will also be sick. And also, the at least his stage is, like, in the middle of the garden. It's, like, long, so kind of no matter where you're sitting, he'll, like, be near you at some point. I didn't think you were that into Drake. I'm real in on Drake. And also, yeah. I mean, mm-hmm. I'd like to see him at least once. And I was like... That'd be cool. Whatever, this will be the time, I guess. It's the first time touring in five years. Really? You just wait yeah. until he wow. burns out. Until, like, he inevitably gets, like, <laughs> until he's, like framed old, for, fat. like... <laughs> I don't like think it's going to happen, man. Old. You don't think so? Framed? No. Uh, <laughs> not framed, but... but yeah, I think he'll get charged with it. I don't think he'll get framed with it. Yeah, he he get with it. <laughs> the thing he's definitely doing. Yeah. <laughs> Drake is not fucking kids. He, Come on, man. He can fuck whoever he wants, dude. Including on, kids. What are you doing? <laughs> not going, <laughs> what are you but doing? No. What are you no, no, no. Doing? I'm not saying that in the in the way that I'm I'm not yeah. advocating. You're not sex justifying it. Yeah, you're oh, saying yeah. Yeah. I'm saying what he, he could have sex with anybody. Like, why would he pick fucking underage girls? He can have sex with like the hottest women. On the I mean, sex with whoever he wants. <laughs> <laughs> also, do you do you think that's how pedophiles are made? Do you think they just <laughs> run out of options? They're like, guess I'll move on to yeah. ten year olds. <laughs> 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 no, I just think like, the, the the one thing people like are trying to like lob this incredibly insane like accusation against them with is I don't texting I Millie Bobby Brown who is like a girl I hate who's Millie in Bobby Brown. Dude. <laughs> She's Fuck annoying. Bobby whoa, whoa! I want to hear more about that. I, I just can't more. stand her, dude. Like after she was in like the Stranger Things or whatever, she was like all over the place. She was in like all these fucking movies, like popping up on all these fucking talk shows. I'm like, get this. This girl out of here, dude. <laughs> she's I not like a good it. actress. No, she's, not a good actress. she's not good. She's not good. good. Yeah, it's like good. every movie she's in. It's like okay, like th- yeah. she's really holding this movie back. <laughs> like, <laughs> I, I don't understand. And everyone's like, oh, she's so beautiful. I'm like, she's really not. Like, she's like <laughs> I just like almost, like average looking celebrity. <laughs> <laughs> I just like earlier you like I don't do good with celebrity questions, and then you just describe just pretty much how much you hate <laughs> celebrity. <laughs> like you're like, yeah, she, I guess that is what I'm snobby. I'm gonna go back and answer all those questions. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Like, can, we, can we start the pod over? Yeah, restart. You guys got another couple hours. Yeah. <laughs> Who's in your smoke chest? <laughs> Who's smoking weed? Well, then it's got me like wicked fucking high, like, just, like off the ramp. I gave like, him a <laughs> hit, a weed. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, who's in your smoke circle? I'll tell you who's not. Oh, <laughs> Millie Bobby Brown. <laughs> Two truths and a lie. I would not set Millie Bobby Brown on fire. <laughs> yeah, that's a lie. And I would be her friend, and I think she's a great actress. 
<laughs> yeah, I mean, they buy brown socks. <laughs> Drake doesn't think so. Yeah. <laughs> oh, whatever. Come on, man. Drake is totally. He's not. He's a, She's a fucking He's young grooming. Canadian actress. Grooming. He went through the same thing. Is she Canadian? Is she yeah. Canadian? She is. Oh, all those Canadians have to stick together. I think I think she is. Yeah, she's I'm definitely sorry. not American. I, I don't know about that. I feel like I feel like it's another young like you go through that like it and it fucks a, people a young, up. A young beautiful girl who just happens to admire this rapper who thinks she's beautiful. Dude, yeah. they just whatever. Like they, Dan she girl, not think she's she, beautiful. Don't you think this she would have like alleged issue, something by now? She know. So let's <laughs> sign him to a record oh, she's, deal. She is we'll English, but you know. I love it. She's English. <laughs> yeah. But yeah. point stands. Same shit. Foreign. <laughs> yeah. Foreign. I can do what the fuck she's doing. Yeah. Billy Bob is T- dragging down the stuff. Tomato. Yeah, I hate her in Tomato. Like we're just like talking over each other. <laughs> yeah, we have two conversations. Going. <laughs> Wait, worst, she's worst podcast guest. <laughs> <laughs> I'm really just sinking over here. <laughs> you're, bobbing, you're bobbing back up. <laughs> you're coming back up, man. Millie's probably listening. Yeah, Millie, She's just all we needed was Millie Bob. Yeah, yeah, that got me What's going. That her name? Millie Bob Borton. <laughs> Millie Bob Borton? <laughs> Tim Bob Borton? Who fucking cares? Fuck her. Mm. <laughs> you know, I hope I hope Sling, Sling Blade and Stranger Things. I don't know. I haven't, I haven't seen Stranger Things. Mm, I suppose there's the Dem- 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 I saw the first season. <laughs> I saw called. the first no. season, and I watch it when other people are around watching it. Yeah, it's only gotten worse like okay. since the second season. Yeah, I, since I the thought the newest season, season was like back to better than the middle two, but it's still like not Stranger great. Things. Yeah. they're all like yeah. kind of good, except for like the third season. Like, the first season's really good. But yeah, like the, yeah, that's some like quintessential sci-fi to me. Yeah. I, like, this is, I just kind of hate notes, like a like a beast for, for and then you're like just a villain. <laughs> well, do you want do you want it to be like a human to represent? Like, yeah, I get that's why I like season four because it's like a, a guy with like a face. I feel like the the monsters don't do that much for me because they're so unrealistic. When it at least has like some sort of human element, I'm like, damn, that's fucked mm. up. I've just been playing with this all night long. <laughs> Uh, yeah, Stranger. Th- that's Stranger Things. Uh, <laughs> that's our review. Yeah. Bones and all. <laughs> yeah, bones and all. I've seen Stranger Things. <laughs> <laughs> right. <laughs> well, we did another twenty minutes. <laughs> so you know had a resurgence at the end tail there. Oh uh, yeah, finish strong. Yeah, you finish know. strong. It's not how you start; it's how you end. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, do you boys think you're friends? You guys? Oh yeah, for sure, man. Hell yeah, sure, dude. It was nice to meet yeah. you. Yeah, Chino likewise. Sheena was. Chino was, uh, <laughs> was really afraid you were going to reject him. So Sorry, was. He, he was really afraid you were going to reject him. I was scared too. I'm not going to lie. Yeah, yeah. It it's a fear. Afraid. Ever since Katie Crowley got rejected, it's. Uh, I knew I wasn't going to reject him anyway. Like even if I hated him. I yeah. Was, <laughs> <laughs> like, yeah. Well, now your now your endorsement means nothing. I know. <laughs> It should be more because it's being on, he's being honest. Right? No, you the man can't tell a lie. He proved that earlier. Yeah, it's true. If I didn't like you, I wouldn't have clarified that. <laughs> I can't like six months from now. You guys are gonna be at the same party, and like I'm gonna walk into one corner here and bribe me, and like that fucking loser's favorite color is blue. <laughs> walk into the other go- corner, you're gonna be like, that kid doesn't even have his little motorcycle license. What a fucking loser. <laughs> Or even better, they introduce themselves. <laughs> <laughs> you look so familiar. I know. I kind of feel like uh, we we didn't even really talk. <laughs> yeah, with me and Logan as co-host, is impossible. Yeah. If you guys want to take the take the floor and uh, have a conversation, I'll bow out. <laughs> In this corner, Logan, bow out, Logan, bow out. Oh, I was going to introduce him. <laughs> Wait, what? <laughs> Logan and I bowed out so you guys could talk, and you guys aren't talking. <laughs> oh, oh I, I actually didn't catch that. Oh, I thought you meant like you were going to like. Mm. Never mind. <laughs> <laughs> all, right, all right, all right, all right. This is going completely. So, this is rails. my first podcast. <laughs> 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 Do you come here often? <laughs> Do you come here often? <laughs> Do you three here often? <laughs> <laughs> I never do things like this. <laughs> No, but you're you're a extremely likable dude. Oh, thanks. Wow, that, that was, was well. seriously that absolutely was really thoughtful and nice. Oh, I love <laughs> I love this positivity that we're mm. having, Logan. What do you think? You can come back in. Uh, what do you want? What? What do you think of their budding friendship? I think it's beautiful.
All right. <laughs> <laughs> uh, anyway, it's nice when bros can become bros, dude. You know, it's hard to make adult male friends. Just guys being dudes, you yeah. know. Just a bunch of dudes being guys. Yeah. There's a movie you said about it. Backwards. What? Yeah. What's the movie? Have I you love seen you, it? What's your review? I love you, man. I love you too. What's the movie? <laughs> <laughs> Is there a sequel? You got him. <laughs> yeah. I love you too, man. <laughs> man. Man, I love you too. That's what it's called. Oh, okay. yeah. Put the man at the beginning. All right. So I love you. T- I love That's you. That's right. Man. Women in the back. I love you too, man. I love you too. <laughs> Women in the back. All right. That's been Now Your Friends. Thanks for listening. We're fans of you. You're friends of us. Sorry for wasting everyone's time. Shino, you did fine. Brian, you're lovely. Logan, thanks for co-hosting. We love you all. Take pains. Be perfect. Adieu. Adieu.